Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi everybody, welcome back. Our uh, live sky cam from one shoreline uh, looking off to the uh, west. It doesn't show as much fog as we've seen the last couple of nights, nor will there be tonight. But ironically, we do have a dense fog advisory for our northern counties and our coastal counties too. But again, the fog not as bad tonight because there's a little bit more wind. There is a dense fog advisory for the nearshore and offshore waters, and uh, that is definitely going to come to fruition with the uh, very cool shelf waters out here uh, continuing. And with this next big front coming, there's going to be more fog down the road. Right now, visibility is a mile in Beeville, but nine miles here and even along the coast, six to seven miles. So again, a big change from 24 hours ago, which was absolutely horrible. But yes, there will be more fog and mist tonight, but not as bad as it's been the last couple nights. There's a front that's going to stall in the area tomorrow, and I think south of us. So we're going to see much of the day tomorrow in the 60s. We'll briefly be in the low 70s here in town, but drop into the 60s with this front. A few showers will be near that boundary here tomorrow, late morning to early afternoon. So tomorrow, the bottom line, not near as nice as it was today with the sun coming out. I don't think we're going to see any sun tomorrow. And that Arctic blast is still on track to come in here on Sunday and temperatures in the 40s behind that, even upper 30s for lows, but no freezing temperatures. But it's going to be brutal for March. All right, the short term overnight forecast uh, keeps us in the mid 60s all the way through 4 a.m. Southeast to east southeast winds at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Overnight lows unseasonably mild once again and in the low to mid 60s area wide with areas of uh, patchy fog. As you can see on the satellite and radar, we did have the sun this afternoon and uh, then we clouded up. Now we're picking up a little drizzle out here to the west and we'll see a light shower activity too as this front that was up along the Red River uh, this time last night is advancing southward. It's got some very cold air associated with it and it's bucking the southwesterly flow aloft. So tomorrow forget about the sun, the warm humid air running into it and the collision of the two will generate some lift and that will result in a few showers here tomorrow. The cold air will be a short lived or short lived, if you will, as it'll be overrun by the southwesterly flow and this system moving over the Rockies that will draw down the cold air out of Canada. And here it is uh, up in the northern plains. It's in the single digits right now. It's only 31 degrees right now in Dallas where this front is coming from and 21 in Amarillo. So that's what we're going to be dealing with tomorrow, a glancing blow. But the real cold air and the big story is what's going to happen here on Sunday. Minus 38 up around the Arctic Circle. That's going to pinwheel southward around the uh, polar vortex, which is going to stay put. But some of that air is coming south. 25 below in Bismarck on Saturday afternoon. We'll be at 78 here. Well, it'll be 40 in Amarillo. And then Sunday morning, 36 below zero. This is colder than it was in January up there. And uh, while it'll be 29 in Amarillo, we'll be 69 here. This is Sunday morning. And then Sunday afternoon, oh, our temperatures are still warm, but brutal up in North Texas. And then the roof caves in as we drop Monday afternoon into the 30s here in the coastal bend. But again, no freezing temperatures. Tomorrow we'll start to pick up some showers along that front before it turns back north as a warm front. Your NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast, 65 tonight, 69 tomorrow, 55 and 72 Friday. So much cooler tomorrow than it was today, 81 Saturday. Turns windy behind that front, and again, we drop into the upper 30s here by Tuesday night. Prior to that, we see highs only in the 40s, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Lee, of next week.